Hello, and welcome to another series, um, our third final series. Ignore that Chris Tico is either one person left, he's only here tonight because I'm waiting for these two contracts to pass. But, as it stands, we have um, Impact Wrestling, we're going to be running Impact. I'm going to be changing this title if I can, I don't know if I actually have a decent... Um, no, in there, well, do. there we go. So, we have Impact Knockouts Champion is Ali. The Super X Cup is no longer with us. I'm going to retire that. Um, World Champion is Pentagon Jr. World Tag Team Champions, for some reason, I have released Scott Steiner. So it was Scott Eli Drake and Scott Steiner. It is no more. That will be revealed shortly. And we've got Matt Seidel as X Division Champion and Matt Seidel as X Division Champion. Don't ask me why there's two X Division titles. I don't understand that. So one of them is going to be retired. So, yeah, we're going to have a quick look at the roster. And the first roster we're going to have a look at are our X Division guys, which I have put into a division called the Action Division. And they're going to be having Explosion, so Explosion will be part of the X Division. So in there we have ACH, Angelico, Brian Cage, Caleb Connolly, Caristico, who's ill on a one-night deal. Tom Falcon will take his place when he signs his deal. Um, Slitch, Chandler Park, Desmond Xavier, DJZ, Drago, Dragon Kid, Matt Seidel, who's a current champion. Ray Phoenix, Rich Swan, Space Monkey, Trevor Lee, and Will Ospreay. And if you've been watching Legion, you know that Space Monkey is quite good, and I thought it'd be quite nice in Will Ospreay. So that's quite a nice little action division. So we're gonna we're now gonna ignore the action division, guys. Um, and I can actually do this so they don't come up again. Um, where's the option to say a non gimmick? There we go. So let's have a look at our roster. See who's where. So in the main event scene, we've got Austin Aries, Cody Rhodes. Eddie Edwards, Eli Drake, Jay Briscoe, Johnny Impact, Joseph Parks, Moose and Ryan Reeves. He will not be Joseph Parks, I'm afraid. He will be re reverting to his monster gimmick, the Monster Abyss. And he will be using that at all times. And there we go. As being as there's no faces and heels in the company anymore, I've got rid of that. So yeah, I've brought in Cody Rhodes, I've brought in the Briscoes, um, and I brought Ryan Reeves in, um, who's better known as the big guy. So that's what I will be using him as, the big guy. I don't think it was no, you know. So there we go. That's So there's some of the signings you've seen in Will Ospreay. I've done a lot of signings. Um, so we've got Chris Saban coming back. Homicide, Mark Briscoe, Matt Jackson, Matt Riddle, Nick Jackson, Tyrus and Zach Saber Jr. Are all in the upper mid-carders. Um, uh -huh. We've got Alex Shelley, Dave Chris, David Boy Smith Jr., Jimmy Jacobs, Lance Hoyt. Pentagon Jr., P.D. Williams, and Sammy Callan, so I need to do a lot of work with Pentagon, but he is not going to be losing about um, to, he will be losing about to Austin Aries anyway, but we'll be pushing him as a main event into the top. Pete Williams, Sammy Callahan. So there's your mid-carders. Um, lower mid-carders, you've got Grado, Jake Chris, KM, Congo Kong, and Santana. Of course, Congo Kong is being managed in real life by Jimmy Jacobs, so I will be sticking to that and actually going ahead with that. Grado, I don't know, hasn't got his manager, which of course is. I called her Winter, but she's known as Katrina in the actual company now, but we call her Winter because, you know, no way. Um, don't expect some other things. There's going to be other reveals. Falabar, um, Ortiz, and Ruta Rouge, which who is one of the releases I'm actually going to go ahead and do. I forgot to get rid of these guys. And he got, he's gone. But I'm going to keep Venus. I don't know who he is or where he's from, but he's obviously a part of that group. But I like the look of him, so he's sticking around. Um, the women's division, um, I would like to point out that in the Legion Pro Wrestling, she was going to be brought in as a part of the first, some of the first women's, and she has sadly passed away in the real game. Here she hasn't, so she's 46 years old. We've got Alicia Edwards, married to Eddie Edwards, Ali, Bree Presley, a signing, um, Dominatrix, she wasn't a signing, Kaylee Ray, signing. Casey Spinell, she was already here. Rosemary, Soraya Knight, one of my signings. Sienna, Sue Young, who was a, is a part of the real company, so I quickly signed her. Tara, Tony Storm, I've brought in. Viper, Winter, and Xenia Brookside. So Xenia Brookside, Viper, Sue Young, Soraya Knight, and Bree Presley, I have, and Kaylee Ray, as all the ones I've signed. Got a nice, strong women's division. Um, any occasional wrestlers? I have sacked Scott Steiner, so you won't see him here. Um, we've got Conan as a manager, um, who is, and he of course managing Ortiz, Santana, and Dominator. So that's the LAX brand. I don't know if I'm going to do the big 
thing where Homicide and Hernandez. We've got Josh Nephews as an announcer. I will be bringing in someone else uh, after the first few tapings to do that. We've got no colour commentators, so I'm going to be looking into bringing in, probably bringing back Taz. But I brought in, we only have Brandon Tolley on as a referee, so I brought Brian Ebner, Stifler and Jim Cordes in for referees. <sighs> then, of course, we're using me as the authority figure. Um, road agents, we've got Don Callis, Scott Dimon. I have put Don Callis on as a colour commentator, so I'll probably bring, probably keep it as that. And then personalities, we've got no personalities. So as is the company stands, so let's go to creative meeting. We've got Austin Aries, Johnny, Im, Johnny Impact, Chris Co, Cody Rhodes and the big guy. This is the franchise players. Next big things, Ortiz. Talk the talk, me, Conan, Austin Aries, Eli Drake, Cody Rhodes. Christico, these are the showstoppers. Christico, Austin Aries, Johnny Impact, Alex Shelley, Matt Seidel. Ring Generals, Austin Aries, Alex Shelley, Edwards, Jay Briscoe, Mark Briscoe. Who's Hot, Rosemary, Santana, Homicide, KM and Ortiz. Who's Not, um, no one's got no. Time Decline, Drago, Austin Aries, Saraya Knight, Dra Dragon Kid and Abyss. Okay, well that's an Aries. It's all quite good in the ring, so I ain't going to really pay much attention to that. And now we're going to have to wait for the hidden drums to open up. There we go. Kevin Kelly, Jesse White, who looks like The Miz, Madison Eagles, Short Blackheart, and Lance Arana, which I'm not even going to bother signing any of them. Um, we have no storylines because I ain't set any up. That will all be revealed. I'm keeping that secret. So, yeah, um, we have got no tag team champions. Why? Because we have got some great tag teams. Ladies and gentlemen, the Impact Wrestling tag team division looks like this. We've got Killer Elite Squad, Latin American Exchange, LAX, Motor City Machine Guns, OVE, the Briscoes, and the Young Bucks. So, the, this week on Impact, I will be announcing this now. This week on Impact Wrestling, and I'll be going through the entire scheduling, will be two. And I'll make sure that they are elimination. They've got four minutes, so I'm just going to create the match. I'm going to take that off. Um, that's fine. And then put brackets. Two mins. There we go. Save. So we've got 2v2 um, elimination. I need to go through this. And then I'm going to reveal some of the other stuff for you what we're going to be doing, how we're going to be running this company. Save. There we go. So, um, where is the rules? There it is. So 2v2 elimination match teams. So, first off, we're going to have the Killer Elite Squad, the LAX, and the Motor City Machine Guns. They're all going to be on one side of the bracket, and they will be facing each other. Then we're going to also see another 2v2 elimination, which will see OVE, the Briscoes, and the Young Bucks all battling out. The winners of those, the winners of these two matches will then go on to face each other. We're also going to see on Impact Wrestling this week a fatal four-way. I don't mind that. That, but it's also got five minutes. I don't know why a fatal four-way elimination match has five minutes. So I'm just going to put it down to two, just for, t and I'm going to call it TV. So certain wrestlers probably wouldn't have an entrance. You probably have your two big stars have the entrance. That's how they do it in real life. Um, I'm going to be putting all the belts on the line this week. So expect some expect some changes and stuff and storylines to be beginning in these matches more than on screen this week. Um, but yeah, so you've got a five-way elimination, two-minute TV, which is going to be the, as stands as this. It will be Austin Aries taking on Cody Rhodes with Johnny Impact. Um, the big guy's going to have his own match, but taking on Pentagon Jr. The winner of that will be the Impact Grand Impact World Champion, but that's going to happen. Ali has asked for a special competition this week. Um, and Ali will be facing no one better than the uh, Viper from the Scottish Isles. And that's going to be happening. Not only that, but the big guy is going to be making his debut against another big guy in Moose. I don't think I said Moose when I saw this, but that's going to be a match which is going to be happening. That's Impact. Now, how is this going to work? So, Explosion is going to be full of wrestling, and that's going to be live on. Um, Explosion is going to be for the Explosion guys. So any of the X Division guys are going to be on Explosion Wrestling out. Um, all of our broadcasting deals are going to be on the Global Wrestling Network. Because we have better control over what we pull out with that. It's not as part of Anthem, but... Certainly speaking, we can shut this down, we can open this up, we own this. 
This is our network, so we're going to do everything on there. Gives us a bit more control of what we do. Um, we've also got some relationships. So we work, we've got, I've got a working agreement with Shikara. Of course, with Falling Star Wrestling, I Insane Championship Wrestling, Lucha Libre AA, Lucha Underground, Progress, Pro Wrestling Noah, Smash Wrestling and the World Association of Wrestling. It's Ray Knight's husband's company. But then we're also going to be a part of the new Japan, new Japan world. Meaning, um, I'm not going to invite people, I mean, meaning we can get wrestlers from CMML, which is what I use to get Carisico. We can get Al Desperado, uh, Marty Skull, I could have really signed him, Michael Algan. Um, but that means we can get wrestlers like uh, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho. So, yeah. That's going to be happening. We've got, um, I've got a few bit more things to do, but in January we've got Genesis against All Odds Victory Road. So one, two, three. So actually, them two need to be swapped. So I'll do that quickly because I've messed this up as per usual. Just going to move that to April. Just going to put it on free for now. Okay, all well, lockdowns in the wrong spot. So let's move you to March. Because I say, I'll show you how I book. Oh no, that is right, because that's one, two, three. Yep, right. Let's put everything back to where it was. Let's quickly flip this back around and hopefully we'll have a bit of fun. I'm messing everything up now. Uh, April. <laughs> Because I can't remember what my big four. Are. Um, but there you go. So you got you beat one of your big four is Genesis, and you got one, two, three. Your next big four is Bound down one, two, three. Of course, Sam first, but he's been moved to July. One, two, three. Bound for Glory in October, and then one, two, three. I have also been. I'm also going to be spending a lot of money to kind of outdo Impact Wrestling, um, not Impact Wrestling, but WWE on the stage design. So we're going to have our own personal stage sets with the big four, which I haven't done on all of them, which I'll make sure I do now. We're going to make sure we have at least live music, and I've banned live music, you know, like here, which is not our go home show. This is our big show of the year. So I've literally spent as much as I can on the stage set for Bound for Glory because we're here to bring you a different thing. And this is why the product, everybody's rated equally on performance popularity. We're not going to have a heel and face divide. You know, we are about the wrestling. We are going to be telling stories. Um, that's the product. We are regional at the moment. We will. We are not far off. We'll probably be able to get through the top quite quickly. You know, we've got this. Um, we've got no storylines. Um, production. We've got everything is at the top. So we've got high quality probo, secure, superb cutting edge video capabilities, editing capabilities, and your very own travelling costume and prop department. Um, we've got professional live experience. We've got cutting edge broadcasting, major license and musicers. I ain't changed that. Um, many people probably don't know this, but I always put my Always, whatever company I'm running, is I always do optimistic and excellent. So you get the best quality merchandise. I even do it. The thing. And the Hall of Fame is Gail Kim, Jeff Jack, Kurt Angle, Sting, and Team 3D. And Team 3D. I'm going to be doing this. AJ Styles, American Wolves, Austin Aries, Bobby Roode, James Storm, Chris Saban, Frankie Zarian, James Storm, Jeff Hardy, Bobby Roode, The Hardys, Samoa Joe. And then all of these, this is what I feel that... It, Impact should be. So yes, I have shortlisted a load of wrestlers. Um, Adam Cole, AJ Styles, Rick Cochet, Lux of Spud, Roddy Strong, Roman Reigns, Rusev, Sami Zayn, Samojo, Sasha Banks, and Seth Rollins are all shortlisted. Um, we're going to do a tour of the company. Um, so we have 64 wrestlers on their roster. The most popular star is the big guy. Um, Cody Rhodes, Austin Aries, a member of the Hall of, a member of, the Hall of Fame, um, Caristico, and Johnny Impact. So yeah, we are going to be, we're in July now, so the first three shows are just going to, we're just going to do some random, we're not going to do proper storylines heading into this show, um, so anniversary, but all the events I'm going to be announcing now are going to be four hours. <laughs> Another thing I want to do to make this company feel different, but yeah, hopefully, we've moved these to Friday, these two to Friday, as you can see. The reason being is that's when people are, people are not available on Tuesday, I don't know who's not available, oh great, Christico is not available. <laughs> Right, I'll work that out a bit. But yes, so that is what's going on. We'll see you live at Impact Wrestling in just a little bit. 
Hello guys, welcome back. It's explosion time. Here live tonight in New York City in the Hammerstein Ballroom. And we have our opening X Division matches. Angelico defeated Trevor Lee in 67 by Pinfall with a Superman sent on. Trevor Lee 39, Angelico 33. No way for us. I have had to change of decision that this is this is they were X Division stars are only gonna appeal on this. That I'm making a decision that that's gonna happen. But that does mean I'm going to have to take Drago out of the X Division and put him into the normal divisions because he doesn't work on B shows. So if I'm going to do that, I'll have to think of something decent to bring in in his place. Uh, the music they showing to promote ACH. I don't really care about ratings on this, so only 22E. You know, this is the B show, so. But in above, I had subpar wrestling a little heat. Dragon Kid defeat Caleb Connolly and Schindler Park in an elimination match in 555. The other nation was Schindler Park first and Caleb Connolly. Caleb Connolly was really off his game. Schindler Park's not suited to his gimmick. Um, so that's Schindler or Chandelier Park is not suited. So that's an... And then what I'll do is I'm just going to put not suit is not suited. Anyone else can go in there and we'll make a nice list of anyone else who we've got. Um, oh, no. So, the, so we're going to take... We're going to probably give him a normal name, a new gimmick. Because him and Abyss are an awkward pairing. Um, Caleb Conley, 37. Chandler Park, 33. Drenkid, 44. As being as he... As being as... That should have been changed and I forgot to do it. But there you go. Um, oh, what the whole deal is meant to do something. And in a poor match, ACH defeat Xavier, Xavier. In 650 by Pinfall. We're ready or not. Here I come. Um, Desmond Xavier, 40. ACH, 40. ACH, Xavier's fan favourite. It's got an initial thing. These two make more well, about... But it's one of the better matches tonight. Doesn't necessarily improve the performance. 39D. Ian above had subpar wrestling a little heat. Jimmy Havoc, who is going to probably be the one of the repli uh, one of the replacements for Drago, defeated and Brian Cage defeated Ray Phoenix and Space Monkey in 8 of 5. And Brian Cage defeated Ray Phoenix by pin for the Alpha Fly and Elbow Drop. Brian Cage not suited to his gimmick. Um, that's another one. So I can change these heading into our first impact taping and change them on there. You see, for these guys, the impact guys, I can't do a lot with. Brian Cage, 41. Havoc, 34. Space Monkey, 36. Ray Phoenix, 45. No work improvements, but Jimmy Havoc out there with 34. Been in Impact before, so I brought him in from Progress because I'm um, thinking he won't be here tonight. In a decent match, Will Ospreay defeat DJZ. Ba 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 ba. By pin for the 630 splash. Or 6. Um, DJZ is not suited to his gimmick. Oh, another person not suited to their gimmick. Yeah, we're going to have some fun with this one before I get into the main show. I've got to sort the storylines out yet, so. That's all got to be sorted out. Um, Will Ospreay debuts for all secret gimmicks. Got his run of average. DJZ 45. Will Ospreay 56. Ospreay's improving performance. Nice. 50D+. plus. I would like to point out that Impact, this edition of Impact is going to be about building the company. So there's going to be a lot of wrestling matches more than angles. And any angles we do, we'll probably be doing videos and video packages like we did for ACH on the main card. There's not going to be a lot of um, written angles out until at least next weekend into anniversary. And everything will change again. In a video place, hyping up Matt Seidel versus Dragon Kid, which should have been changed because it's not Dragon Kid he's facing. I changed it to Rich Swan. And in a decent match, Matt Seidel defeated Rich Swan in 14.37 by pinfall. The here is driver. And Matt Seidel makes defense number one of his X Impact X Division title. Rich Swan 55, Matt Seidel 60. Rich Swan's to great. We've got a ham hamstring injured. Rich Swan Davies fan face going through average. No work in but he's injured. We end the Impact Havens. Okay, the locker room's not happy with Matt Seidel, but there you go, guys. 54C minus, and we'll probably find out the attendance, because we want to know how many people will come out, but it should be a sold-out show. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you for Impact in just a little bit. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Impact. As I said, this is a very rushed-together episode, just because it's the first one and I wanted to run something. Um, so no storyline start this week. It's going to be leading into... Most of the storylines we're going to have are going to leave in some first week, but unlike normal, they're going to continue into Bound for Glory in October. But we have sold out the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York, so good on my first show. Brilliant, sold out crowd, 2,600 people at the New York Hammerstein Ballroom. Thanks for the sound effects. So we're going to open up tonight with a video... Oh, God, 10F. Ouch. As... as Versus Ali. It's very difficult to do when your fiance sat next to you, wetting herself with laughter. Yeah, 10 F. But the match was a 3 2 E, so I can't be bothered. Too bothered, too angry at them. But in a terrible match, Viper defeated Ali in 749 by Pinfall, the Mujico driver. Viper is your knock, Impact Knockouts title champion. 
Five year debut, the badass gimmick's got below average, and he's not suited to a gimmick. Oh, great, another person not suited to a gimmick. Ugh. And um, Jimmy Jacobs has been swapped out for um, Drago so that we can do a 90 minute show of just all of the action division guys, aka the X Division, are all going to be on there. I'm going to bring a few more mid carders though for the main show, for this bit of the show, because we ain't got many. Um, so we're going to get a few more people in to play parts for that. But a 32E plus to open up the night, that is absolutely terrible. In about a decent um, about a decent rest of the sheet, Sammy Callan defeated KM in 8-14 by Pimble Assault Driver. Sammy Callan 43, KM 46. Sammy Callan improving in performance. A music video is shown to promote the Killer Elite Squad. Awesome. And then they, their match. Oh, nice. 46D. And above our decent wrestling with Dumbledore Cheat, the Killer Elite Squad defeated Ali X, um, Motor City Machine Guns, um, um, the Order Elimination in 10 minutes 14. The Order Elimination was Ali X first, and then the Motor City. David Smith debuted his Ego Maniac Gimmick. He's got below average. David Smith was really off his game. Um, Lance Hoyt debuted his Badass Gimmick. Um, Ortiz is not suited to gimmick. Conan did some good work and Santana. Okay, I knew that was coming up because I have done this one before. I should have really known that was coming up. Ortiz, Santana, who are from in, um, CZW, so I knew them before they went to Impact. I'll sort them out. Ali Shay debuted the Degenerate and Awful. Chris Sober can vote very good. Lance 41, Dave Boy 43, Santana 26, Ortiz 28, Chris Sober 60, actually 52. Santana improving performance, not bad at 46D. But so, um, Co Elite Squad have moved on and they're in, and they'll be live. A video, video, video showing promoting our world champion in 22E, who is in Pentagon Junior. In a terrible match, Bree Priestley, Kaylee Rain, Saray Knight defeated da Dominator, Sienna, and Ashley, Alicia Edwards in 750 when Saray Knight defeated Dominator by Pinfall. So, some Demetra is. Um, Demetra. I'm just gonna try and spell her name out. Is not suited. That's fine. Conan did some good work at ringside. Kane did some good work at ringside because he's obviously managing her. B. Presley debuted a bitch going awful. Kaylee Ray fan favorite above average. Old school here for Stray Knight's got above average. The Aston College match. K. M. is not suited to his gimmick. I didn't see that when he had his match, so obviously I missed that. So K. M. is now on my list. Alicia Edwards, 27. Sienna, 37. Dominator, 24. Serena, 36. Kelly Reef, 33. Bree Prisley, 19. Sienna, Techno, and Alicia Edwards improving fine. Abyss cuts a backstage promo just saying, Welcome to Impact. I'm back. You know, saying he's going to be back next week. Ooh, 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 ooh. And, he do, and he comes back as his monster gimmick. Don't know what I've got. There you go. 57C minus in a decent match. The Young Bucks defeat OV in the Briscoes in 9.34. The order elimination was OV first, then the Briscoes. Jay Briscoe, Jerry's Redneck, can make so much right of average. Mark Briscoe defeated Davey's Redneck, can make so much right of awful. Matt Jackson, DA and Generate gimmick, very good. Nick Jackson, DA and Generate gimmick, Mr. Right and great. Jay Matt Briscoe and the Young Bucks, of course, have a great chemistry team to go. Jake Chris, 33. Dave Chris, 37. Mark, 59. Jay, 69. Nick Jackson 62, Matt Jackson 62, Jay improving in performance, and Dave in performance. So at Slammiversary, of course, this ain't going to be under storylines. I'll continue them through um, Destination X, No Surrender, up until Bound for Glory. So the storylines we have set will continue. It will be the Young Bucks. It'll be a New Japan, a battle of the New Japan brethren as the Young Bucks take on the um, Kilo Elite Squad for that championship. But 63C, this is what we're talking about. Eddie in above had great, good wrestling and decent match of crowd. Eddie Edwards defeated Eli Drake in 808 by pin for forward long blower. 63C. Eddie Edwards and Eli Drake are great show their performance. Eddie Edwards 71, Eli Drake 53. No work and privilege, 63C. Eddie Edwards is celebrating his victory in the ring. Sammy Callum runs in attacks. Edwards before beating Edwards down to the map. Um, the blood battle has continued. I'm going to continue this view because I like it. Mitch on the smart side out of an all, um, heat conversation. It was 36 day. It's just these two won't be performing on the main show. This storyline will be advanced on the um, explosion. I just thought I'd get it on there so we can get it going because I've decided these two are going to be feuding over the explosion title. 59C in a decent match. Zack Sabre Jr. and Tyrus defeat Homicide and Matt Riddle. In 801, when Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Homicide by submission on the Senior Stretch. 
So these two are going to be feuding, Battle of the Submissionists. Uh, Matt Riddle, 56. Homicide, 56. Tyrus, 50. Um, Zach Sobe Jr. out there with 67. Matt Riddle, David's a gym, gym, the gym athlete. And we've got Blue Average. And Zach Sobe Jr. David is fan favorite above average. And submission specialist. In above her good heat and decent wrestling, the big guy defeated Moose. The big guy, David's badass, coming to Australian Forford. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Moose, 50. Big guy, 62. The big man wrestling started with this angle. These two are going to be feuding whether or not it sucks or not. I don't know. The match is over. Moose is left down. The big guy is celebrating, but then stops to see his opponent still on the ground. He attacks and beats him into the canvas. So the big guy has come in. Um, the video plays hyping up our main event tonight. Johnny Impact versus Cody versus Austin Aries versus Pentagon Jr. Which gets 62 seeing about that good wrestling and a decent match from the crowd. Cody Rhodes defeat Austin Aries and Johnny, Austin Aries, Johnny Impact and Pentagon Jr. in an elimination match in 22 minutes 11. The order of elimination was Pentagon, John, Pentagon Jr. first. Then Austin Aries and finally Johnny Impact. Cody Rhodes is your Impact World Champion. Cody Rhodes is a good heel going. It's not very good. Austin Aries 59, Cody 65. Johnny Impact out there with 72 and Pentagon Jr. 52. So Johnny Impact and Austin Aries might be swapped. I haven't decided yet. But Johnny Impact improved in performance, so we'll see. We end tonight's show um, with a 59C, which increased our popularity in all 45 regions. So, Jim, I'll see you next week for Impact, where some things are about to change. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome back to Explosion. Yay! Um, so I've put a bit of work in this one, and I'll probably get this episode done today. We're going to go up until some anniversary. So Josh Matthews is not suited to his gimmick. I think I've done them too. Uh, I'll do Josh. Don't know what Josh's gimmick is, but he's not suited to it. So as being as he's going to probably only appear on, you know, on it was going to be Don Callis, but I can't use Don Callis because he's contracted to be a road agent. But he is a color commentator. But Josh goes, welcome to Explosion. And as the GM of the X Division, and this is where the stars of the X Division will start, the stars will fight. The new Impact GM has made a, some huge changes to Impact Wrestling, and this is one of them. Every week, 90 minutes before Impact, you will get the X Division live on their show, then Impact. Because of an injury to Rich One, you will not be able to compete as some of week and live on pay view. So tonight, these four men will compete to be crowned the new number one contender, and we'll get to face my side at some week. There will be Will Ospreay, Angelico, Trevor Lee, and new X Division star, Jimmy Jacobs. All that and more. Welcome to Explosion, the home of the X Division. So, anyone who appears on the X, on Explosion, um, on the, in the X Division roster, has been picked up to a weight limit of light heavyweight. So, certain wrestlers are appearing in the X Division, because the X Division is about no limits, but I didn't want to put a super freak, like, bulk or someone in it. But we open up tonight in a battle that didn't, in a battle that had decent wrestling, with Dunwich Heat, Matt Sardell defeating Dragon Kid in 740 by pin for the Court Screen Moonsault. Matt Sardell, 55. Dragon Kid, 46. No work in press. 50D+. Plus. In about that decent match with Dunwich Heat, um, I was meant to check. That's where the problem lied. Um, oops. So Trevor Lee is appearing in two matches tonight. I will take Raider out of the exhibition after tonight. I had, this is where the problem lied. Brian Cage is not suited to his gimmick. I have sorted that out. So Brian Cage, 47. Trevor Lee, 43. No work in press. So that's where I messed up. Mm-hmm. So I'll take Grader out after to this show and he'll be on Impact Wrestling. He's just here anyway for a bit of fun. Music video is shown promoting Tom Falcon. I knew that it would get a small rating because he's not very popular in America. But he always appears in my episodes. So in about had Subpar Wrestling and Little Heat, Tom Falcon defeated DJZ in 7421 by Pinfall. He debuted old school face comments quite an average. DJZ is not suited to his gimmick. Well, guess what, DJZ? Uh huh. And why are you called DJZ? Because I changed you to see my eye on. Um, Tom Fallon 26, Z Mai on 46, DJZ improving in performance. It's not DJZ, I've changed it to Z Mai on. The same as I've changed someone to suicide. <laughs> in a bad bad subpar wrestling, a little heat, Desmond Xavier and Suicide defeat Hangman Page and ACH in 8.06. And Suicide defeat Hangman Page by pinfall the inverted overdriver on the Suicide Dive, or whatever it's called. Um, Hangman and Page, they his old school heel gimmicks, which are in a poor ACH to the game. ACH 41, Hangman Page 35, Suicide 40, Desmond XA 45, no work improvements. Uh, Visa video showed to promote Ethan Page. In a bad sub subpar wrestling, a little heat, Ethan Page defeats Space Monkey by in 742 by Pinfall the Spinning Space Buster. Ethan Page not suited his gimmick, can to a good work at ringside. I was meant to sort that out and I didn't, so I'll sort that out for next week. 
There we go. That's done. Even page 28. Space Monkey 39. Space Monkey. Mm -hmm. In a poor match, Ray Phoenix defeated Grado by pin for the Amitriara. Ray Phoenix 45, Grado 25. Ray mm, Phoenix poor performance, Grado in performance. Ray Phoenix seemed off his game. Grado was really off his game, so I'm going to take Grado out of the exhibition after tonight. Then we have a music video hyping up the main event. And then I guess in about a decent match, we're going to cheat. Will Ospreay defeat Angelico, Trevor Lee, and Jimmy Jacobs in an elimination match at 7.53. The order elimination was Angelico first, and then Jimmy Jacobs, and finally Trevor Lee. Angelico 51, Will Ospreay 54, Trevor Lee 41, Jimmy Jacobs 47. Will Ospreay in Rumble, Rumble and Trevor Lee flying. So the winner of that match, of course, is Will Ospreay. And it's going to be happening at Slammiversary. One of two matches now booked for Slammiversary. Uh, yes, Will Ospreay will be taking on Matt Seidel. One on one for that X Division title. It's going to be a big one. We'll get to see that live at Sunversary on Friday week four. And that's the end of tonight's show. Um yes, 47D. The it's still waiting to the B show even though it's 90 minutes because I know it'll do very well. Because of my muck up, Trevor Lee and appeared twice, and we ended up with Grado on the show. But apart from that, quite a nice little exhibition show. We'll see you live for Impact in a little bit. Thank you for watching. So we are sold out tonight, three thousand people. At the Ray Bank Theatre. And in the future battle, decent match with German Cheat, Latin American Exchange um, defeated and most of the machine guns. Defeated Killer League Squad in Young Bucks in 747. I actually defeated Lansoit by Pinfall the Underarm, underarm Snap STO. Ortiz is not suited to his gimmick. Um, no. Well, we'll soon deal with that. Let's just do that and ignore that because I've thought that out. And. Nick Jackson 52, Matt Jackson 52, Lance Sweet 41, Dave Boy 46, Chris Saban 55, Alex Shelley 47, Santana 27, and Ortiz 25. Chris Saban proven technical, Dave Boy in performance, and Matt Jackson in performance of 45D. A nice pre show match here tonight. In a pre show about where I had Subpar Wrestling, a little heat, Tony Storm, Winter, and Kayla Lee Ray defeated Tara, Casey Spence, Spinal, and Ash Alicia Edwards. In 738, when Kaylee Lee Ray defeated Casey Spinell by pin for the reverse code red. Casey Spinell is not suited to a gimmick. Obviously, I didn't do her. Um, okay. And I haven't saw Josh Matthews out either. So. so I thought I did her, but there we go. I'll just put Casey in. I'll sort that out a bit. Tony Storm debuted a fan favorite. He's going to try and pour. Now it's quality to lift match. Alicia Edwards 26. Casey Spinell 26. Tara 40, Kelly Ray 34, Winter 37, and Tony Storm 34. So, one of them stood out of the rest. Winner improving in performance. Nice, 35E+. plus. In a terrible pre-show match, Falabar defeated Greg Excellence in 7.57 by pinfall of an avalanche splash. Um, Greg Excellence debuts fan, fun babyface. Greg Excellence debut is what initial rating legendary. Falabar is really off his game. Greg Excellence 37, Falabar 22. No worries. Really yes, Greg Excellence has signed with Impact. You'll see a lot of um, new signings and returns tonight on the show. I'm just going to say that now. In a pre-show about that decent wrestling, Bullet Heat, Pentagon Jr., Peter Williams, Matt Riddle, and Michael Algon defeat KM, Ricky Shane Page, Matt Tree Motlin, Vikas Kumar, wherever he is. But there we go. He's going to have a gimmick change. So it's KM. Oh, Pete, even Pete Williams. There we go. KM's not suited to his gimmick. Sorted that. KM and Sinara, good pair of healthy. Ricky Shane Page. Has debuted, he's a cult gimmick. He's going to train of average, Matt Tree, Mont Badass. He's going to train of awful. Algon debuts, Man Beast gimmick. He's going to train great. The Kiss Kummer, 24. Matt Tree, Mont 27. Ricky Shane Page, 25. KM, 42. Michael Algon, 52. Matt Riddle, 58. PD Williams, 51. Pentagon Jr., 55. Michael Algon in performance and Ricky Shane Page in techno. So, yeah, I've brought these two in from CZW because I love them. Uh, Matt Riddle and Michael Algon are just great. Um, signings in my opinion and if you know he hadn't signed with WWE if that's what the rumour is at the moment then you know but Michael Algon as well is another good signing I think he'll do us good in a decent pre-show match Mr. Anderson returns defeating Homicide in 801 by Pimpton Mike Check Mr. Anderson 48 Homicide 58 Mr. Anderson is to generate gimmick those should be very good no work appearance but Mr. Anderson has returned to Impact Wrestling in a decent pre-show match, Tyrus defeated Moose in 8-11 by Pimple the G-Grip. Moose 44, Tyrus 51, no work improvements, 47D. 
And then we have a nice big opening um, video as hyping Cody Rhodes, Austin Aries Abyss, Moose Riddle, um, Zack Sabre Jr., Eddie Edwards and the big guy, which are all the main names on the show. So they're all hyped. And then Cody comes down to them and goes, welcome to Impact. And welcome. Why am I not on screen? I should be on screen. Okay. Anyway, welcome to Impact and welcome to your new champion, me. You see, Impact is changing and Josh Rayner made big changes. It's time for someone to stand up and be the champion we can be all proud of. You can be proud of. And then Johnny Impact comes out and goes, proud of. Don't make me laugh. You see, you all have been doing, all of you, all you have been doing since winning winning is rubbing in people's faces. You see, just because you've got the Impact World title, don't make you the face of Impact. And Cody goes, have you seen the posters? My face is on all of them. Holding this. I think that makes me the face I am. The star. And then, you go, then I go, hello... Stop it! Now! Sorry, my cat's being naughty. Josh, hello, Impact. And I think we've got a huge problem here tonight. So, Johnny, if you beat this former champion in the main event, you get Cody as Slammiversary. So, a former champion tonight in the main event. We know it's not going to be Mr. Anderson, but Johnny Impact's developing better performance skills. But the Impact World storyline. In a bad Super Wrestling Little Heat, Grado makes another appearance on Impact this week. Defeating Congo Kong in 5 minutes 55 by Pinfield Reboot. Jim Jacobs did good work at ringside. Congo Kong and Jim Jacobs are not preparing. They have that zero. Can have, just have no chemistry whatsoever. Winter did good work at ringside. Now it's quality to lift the match. Congo Kong 31, Grado 33. Um, Congo Kong proven technical. So I'm going to be bringing in someone to work with him. And with someone else who returns tonight. Other than Jimmy Jacobs. Because I don't think Jimmy Jacobs works. In a bad, bad, terrible wrestling, an unexistent crowd eating vibe to defeat Bree Paisley in 5 minutes 41 by Pimple the Mooshi Royal Driver. Viper Mace defends number one of the Impact title. Bree Paisley seemed off again. The last quality and the color comments go match a boost. Bree Paisley 18, a Viper 30. Viper improved in performance of 26E. Not a good angle at all. And this does even worse, but Viper celebrating the ring. Su Young runs in attacks of beating Viper down to the mat. Su Young debuted a weirdo gimmick. Gonna show weight and a poor. And I'm going to be booking this in now so I don't forget. So a lot of the storyline angles I'll book the matches for so that you know where we're heading and what's been going on. But Sue Young is going to be taking... As being as Sue Young is the current Impact Champion, Knockouts Champion, I'm going to throw Sue Young in and she'll be taking on Viper at the Bayview. But yeah. And then that's just, you know, the best way forward to do it. In a bad, bad, decent rest of the the Briscoes to feed hashtag CCK. In 706, when Mark Briscoe defeated Chris Brooks by pinfall, the cutthroat burning hammer. Kid like as David's old school face gimmick. Donish Ray um, Alphal. Cocky gimmicks, Donish Ray and Average. Um, Jay and Mark Briscoe show the team together. Mark Briscoe 62, Jay Briscoe 69, Chris Brooks 33, Kid like as 31. Mark Briscoe improving and flying a 54 C minus, not bad. And Moose goes, hey big guy, last week on Impact you started a fight. And a fight you're not going to be able to finish. You see, I'm coming for you. I'm coming to kick your ass. This is a fight you don't want because it's going to be a fight I'm going to win. It's a fight I'm going to. It's a fight that I'm going to. It's going to prove that I deserve to be on top of Impact Wrestling. And yes, that's another one of the matches that will be happening. Is um, doo -doo -doo. I shouldn't really be doing this because you're going to see a lot of surprises. But hey ho, um, the big guy will be taking on. Moose at the pay-per-view event. So Moose versus the big guy at some anniversary. Quite a good one. In a bit of a subpar wrestling, a little heat, Xenia Brookside, Dominator and Ali defeated Rosemary. It's very nice, Sienna, when Ali defeated Sienna by pinfall the set-off face busker. Rosemary was head and shoulders above everyone else. Xenia Brookside, the second-generation star gimmick. Got an issue above average. She is the son of Robbie Brookside. Or son, daughter of Robbie Brookside, sorry. Dominator is not suited to a gimmick. Um, handle changes. Complete. Ali's now a babe, which I do agree with. She's quite cute. There we go. Um, Kevin did good work on inside. Ali, 33. Dominator, 25. Zania Brookside, 22. Sienna, 35. Serena Knight, 39. Rosemary, 49. Sienna in performance and Xenia Brookside in performance, which is nice. 38 D minus. Not bad. So, yeah, um, this is a big angle. And, you know. If I knew a way of covering these guys up, you wouldn't know who they are, but there we go. So Sammy Callan comes down, he thought he goes, You thought this war was over. It's only just beginning. It's gonna get a whole lot worse from here out. You see, OVE is three guys, Eddie. And Eddie is only one. 
this fight he's not going to win. He's going to lose and lose big. I'm going to do a lot more of a ninja the eyeball. I'm going to kill him. And tonight in this ring, we're going to have a handicap match because he's got no friends. Eddie, Eddie Edwards' music hits and he comes out on the stage and he goes, you're blind, Sammy. I've got some friends. Look behind you. So Shad J Jaspard and Jason Paul, a.k.a. formerly known as JTG, are, are in, standing behind him and uh, they are in the ring and they start brawling begins. For my music, the monster is loose hits. And I come out and he goes, crime time and not contracted superstars to impact. But if they win this six man, the, this win this now six man tag match, they get contracts. That is next. So that is next up. Um, um, Jason Paul Gangster, awful bodyguard gimmick has got awful. The Blood Battle storylines advanced the segment. And let's have a look. A 45D in a belt that had decent wrestling on the cheap with Rising, which is Shad, Jason Paul, and Eddie Edwards defeated Ohio versus everyone. Sammy Callan, Dave Chris, and Jake Chris in eight and nine when Eddie Edwards defeat Dave Chris by pinfall with a cross-legged, cross-legged fisherman's buster. In terms of ring work, Eddie Edwards is ten shots with one ups. Eddie Edwards seen off his game. Eddie Edwards sixty-one, Jason Paul forty, Shad Jasp thirty-six, Jake Chris thirty-four, Dave Chris thirty-six, Sammy Callan fifty. No work improvements. So forty-five D. And above that, subpar wrestling and little heat. Drago defeat Jimmy Havoc in eight fourteen by pinfall. The running Tristing and Moonsault Plancher. Um, Drago has done his one favor. If has got a great extremist gimmick, he's got an average. Drago 40, Jimmy Havoc 36, Jimmy Havoc proven techno. So, yeah, I bought Jimmy Havoc in per permanently. And Zach was meant to be on the screen, and I forgot to set it up. But anyway, picture Zach, right, Zach Sabre here. Matt comes on the screen. He goes, You came out lucky last week on Impact in our six, tag six man tag team match. So, I've got a great idea. A slam anniversary, me versus you, Zach, in a submission match. In a match, that will make you proud. And Zach ends and goes, I love it. See you at San Versi and may the best man win. And then they shake hands as they leave. So yes, a submission match. <laughs> uh, where is that? There. there it is. Submission. So Zach Sabre Jr. versus Matt Riddle in a submission match. What more do you want on the impact... <laughs> on some reversal, I think that's going to be a great little match for these two to take part in. I think it'll be quite interesting to see. Nice, a 63 C in a good match. Stu Bennett and Cody Rhodes defeat M returning MVP and Jay Lethal, and Stu Bennett defeat Jay, Le Jay Lethal by pin for the wasteland. MVP was the weakness to keep on performance. Yes, I have brought back Jay Lethal and MVP, and I've brought in Stu Bennett. Stu Bennett debuts are good and heel gimmick. It's for a great MVP. Debut is arrogant heel gimmicks. Got a shine of awful. MPV was rid of his game. Jay Lethal Davies fan favourite. Got below average. Cody Rhodes 65. Sue Bennett 66. Jay Lethal 67. MPV 50. No word groups. But yeah, Jay Lethal and MVP are back in Impact Wrestling. Stu Bennett has joined. But there you go. Um, only 27E for this. But Drago and Pentagon Jr. have a heated confrontation and eventually come to blows. So Squirty Swarm the ring before it can get any worse. Yes, I am doing a. Um, Lu um, Luchador storyline because I've got all these lovely Luchadors and I don't mind bringing him um, and I wanted something for these guys to do because I can't be on because I don't want him to be part of the X Division because it makes no, you know, it would be nice but, you know, I want him to get back to the main event scene so he can get this title back so that's what we've gone for 27E there, that's nice in a decent match, Bram and Austin Aries defeat Eli Drake and Bully Ray in 735 and Austin Aries defeat Bully Ray by pinfall with a 450 splash. So Bram has returned and Bully Ray has returned. Bram is the weakness to give us performance. Bram is David's ego maniac gimmick. Awful. Austin Aries seemed off his game. Bully Ray badass gimmick. It's going to show of awful. Bram and uh, Austin Aries don't work as a team. Austin Aries 52. Bram 39. Bully Ray 60. Eli Drake 54. You don't deserve the fans still lands advantage of this segment. And that's going to be another match. At our, our new. <laughs> so next week. Um, we're going to be doing Impact as a 40, as a three hour show. Um, and we're going to be doing the three hour show of Impact, and then in, um, Explosion is going to be an hour and a half. And then we will be um, showcasing, um, and then all our pay is going to be four, hour, four, four hours. <laughs> anyway, Eli Drake improving the performance, which has got a 53 C minus, which is nice. In about a good heat and, and good wrestling, Abyss defeated the big guy in 824. The big guy got counted out while fighting Moose at ringside. The big guy 57, Abyss 64. 
the big guy improving in technol, which is nice. Um, we've already got that, so you already know that the big guy versus Moose will be happening at some anniversary, one on one. The music video is shown to promote Johnny Impact because I haven't told you who his opponent is for tonight. In a good match, Johnny Impact defeated Magnus in 1452 by a pin for the Moonlight Driver. Magnus debuted his known gimmick, needed gimmick, it's not a trample average. Magnus getting better his gimmick. Johnny Impact 568 and Magnus 50. So, yes, so Johnny Impact will be taking on um, Cody Rhodes, which I'll cement with the final angle of the night in the pre show in a second. But yes, it's confirmed the main event of Impact. Now I can show you this because Cody Rhodes, I'm hoping that Christico can be used soon. Cody Rhodes will take on, I need to put him in that position because always the champion goes there. It will take on Johnny Impact. Save. Did I put Will Ospreay versus. Yes, there's Matt Ty. I've done it wrong there as well. I don't know why I did it wrong on that one, but yes, Will Ospreay will be taking on. Well, Osprey will be taking on Matt Seidel on the Impact X Division title as well. Another nice match. I'm also going to be confirming this match. This is going to be a big one. It's going to be a four-way elimination match. And that's a five-way, four-way elimination TV. Um, and it's going to feature Stu Bennett, Magnus, Bram. <laughs> And I can't remember who else I was putting in this. Not the big guy. There he is, Bully Ray. I can't remember where. So, yeah, that's going to be one of the matches at Slammiversary. So, that'll be something to look forward to. And then we get 51D plus as the Impact will toss him because he comes out and beats him up. And then uh, after the shows have been taped, we get a special appearance from Lisa Marie Von, Von who gets defeated by Sue Young in a terrible wrestling. In a battle of terrible wrestling. Lisa from V35, Sue Young 21. No to 9, Lisa 1V in 932 by Pinfall the Yellow Fever. Ooh. But yeah, these two don't click. Blah, 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 blah. That's fine. And then in a good poster match, Lex Sabre Jr. defeated Rob Van Dam in 1601 by Pinfall the Tiger Suplex. So that's Sabre Jr. 65, Rob Van Dam 52. No work and It's Just a nice little thing. I've got to bring in one more singles wrestler and one more female wrestler to the roster. But as I said, the show's going to be three hours from tonight. And it gets a 58C minus, which increases our popularity in 45 regions. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next week on the Go Home edition of Impact Wrestling. Hello, and welcome back to a very, very match heavy edition of Explosion. And it's live. As we have in above, I had decent wrestling with Elmachi. Angelico defeated ACH in, at 10.15 by Pinball Superman sent on. ACH 40, Angelico 47, no work in prison, 44D. In above our decent wrestling with Cheat, Zima Ion defeated Dragon Kid in 10.30 by pin for the Filipino Destroyer. Dragon Kid 50, Zima Ion 49, no work in prison, 48D. And then, and then Suicide cuts a promo backstage, hyping up his open coming match with Ray Phoenix. In above our decent wrestling with Cheat, Ray Phoenix defeated Suicide in 10.18 by pin for the Meteora. Um, suicide 40 and Ray Phoenix with three suicides in this game. Ray Phoenix and Ra Rumble and Techno Skills. I have decided that you know this is going to be a match. You know this show is going to be match heavy. It's going to be about the X Division guys, Ray Phoenix, Suicide, Brian Cage, those wrestlers. That's what it's going to be about. And above our decent wrestling with Emma Cheat, Trevor Lee and Desmond Xavier defeat Will Ospreay and Matt Sydal and Trevor Lee defeat Matt Sydal by pinfall. During the match, Will Ospreay turned on side out, so basically wasn't tagging because he's got to face him this Sunday night. Um, doesn't make over 46, Lee 41, Matt Sardo 63, Will Ospreay 56. Will Ospreay in performance and Trevor Lee in performance. Nice to see. The ex the, ex the ex division storyline has advanced segment and gained heat. In above her decent wrestling with a little heat, Space Monkey defeated Jimmy Jacobs um, in 9.51 by pin for the reverse 4.50. Jimmy Jacobs 50, Space Monkey 42, no work in his 46D. In a terrible match, Tom Falcon defeated Ethan Page in 942 by Pinfall. The Color Contrigo match boost, Ethan Page 32, Tom Falcon 28. Um, no work in prison, trying to get Tom Falcon more popular, so he's going to be having a lot of wins to get him up there. And a video plays hyping up your main event of Explosion this week as Handman Page takes on Brian Cage. He has a 39D minus in a poor match. Handman Page defeated Brian Cage in 1527 by Pinfall, the Adam's Apple. And on page 37, Brian Cage 42, no work appearance, we end tonight's show. And these guys will not appear on Impact, but this is a 42D, not bad for 
a B show, and we'll see you on Impact, which is going to be an extra special big night. Hello and welcome to Impact. Um, very heavy. Got 3,262 people at the Alco Arena tonight. I let the game book this arena, so I didn't change anything because we were going to be in that area. So, a very heavy tag team style impact because I want to tell all the stories we've been building in matches tonight as we head towards. So, it's a very heavy sort of multi man tag match show. When she showed Bav had subpar wrestling, a little heat, Terra, Casey, Spinel, and Dominator defeated Rosemary, Tony Storm, of Winter in 817, and Dominator defeated Winter by Pinball the Code Red Bomber. Casey Smell story and sorted out. I need to do it after this. Now's quality lifting match dominator 28, Casey Smell 27, Tara 34, Winner 20, 37, Tony Storm 38, Rosemary 45. Casey Smell improving performance of 37 D minus, not bad. In a terrible pre show match, Greg Excellence defeated Vikas Kumor in 801 by Pim of the Running Carnival. Greg Excellence was really off his game. Now's quality lifting match of Vikas Kumor 27, Greg Excellence 33, no work improvements. 31E plus. Could you imagine if we were doing an independent company now? <laughs> Local flavor. In a preacher, I've had decent rest with Cheat. The Young Bucks defeated Fallow Bar and Homicide in 734 43. When Matt Jackson defeated Fallow Fala Bar by Pinfold and Moonsault. Fallow Bar was the weakness for the girls' performance. Matt Nick Jackson have great chemistry and team together. Homicide 55. Fallow Bar 30. Nick Jackson 62. Matt Jackson 65. No work in prison. 55C minus. In a pre show, I've had decent rest, but I'm cheap. Pete Williams defeated Tyrus by over the flip file driver. Pete Williams 50, Tyrus 52. Pete Williams is not suited to his gimmick. Oh, now he's not. Have you had him on the show before? I don't think so. Anyway, no work in prison 51D. plus. In a pre show, I've had decent rest, but I'm cheap. KM defeated Michael Algren by pin for the spinning reverse STO. KM 45, Michael Algren 42, 49. Kim and Siano are not good pairing, well, they won't be a pairing off this. And in a decent pre show match, because of the mistake I made with one of the matches later on this evening, but you'll see what that was. MVP defeated Slash in 801 by Pimple Running Boot. If you don't know who Slash was, he was a part of the new church in the early years of TNA. He got 34, MVP 55, MVP improved performance, which is nice. We have our opening package for Impact, showing Cody, the Briscoes, Stu Bennett, the big guys, Zach Sabre, Johnny Impact, and Jay Lethal. And then I come down to the ring for 55C minus and I go, welcome to Impact. And tonight, three former Impact stars come home. Two are coming in two days after W released them. The other guy is just coming back. So they're not back. One of them isn't back yet, but he will be back. This coming Friday, night is summer first week. My first Impact pay-per-view. That show card is big, but I'm gonna. it's going to get a whole lot bigger. New Japan wants to start a global division with two titles. Two titles. The IWGP Global Championship and the IWGP Global Tag Team titles. Both titles will have its first champion crowned as Sam Versary. The first match will be for the Global title, and this is going to be a huge one. Former WWE champion Chris Jericho will take on Kenny Omega for that bout in our semi main event. So I can confirm at Sam Versary, on behalf of, um, think of New Japan Pro Wrestling, it will be Kenny Omega. Taking on Chris freaking Jericho. That is one of your semi mains of the night. Hell yes. It's going to get any more interesting though. There you go. And that, that battle for the semi main. And for the global tag team titles, representing Bullet Club will be Gorillas of Destiny, and their opponents will be Mustache and Mountain. This is going to be a huge, this is going to be a huge night. And later on, we'll have a contract signing. No, a huge 10 woman tag match. This is Impact Wrestling. Now, I've probably debuted. A weirdo gimmick, which I don't mind. So yes, the Gorillas of Destiny, G.O.D., will be live on pay-per-view as they are taking on Mustache Mountain, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. G.O.D. versus Mustache Mountain is going to be the opening match of the night of Impact, probably, or it might be an extra match. But in a terrible match, Tessa Blanchard, Ali, Alicia Edwards, Sienna, and Sue Young defeat Viper, Xenia, Soraya Knight, Brew Press, and Kaylee Lee Ray. In 733 ring, Sue Young defeated Xenia by Pin for the Yellow Fever. Test match David Old School heel gimmick. It's gone to of great. Lee Shred was seen off a game. Cam did some good work at ringside. Is any book side getting better gimmick? Truth Martini did good work at ringside. We're going to ignore that. The house quality lifted match. Truth Martini debuted his fan favourite gimmick. 
don't know why he's doing a fan favourite. It should be a heel. He's got his run above average. Oh, well, there's no heel faces in main pack, so we'll let him get on with it. Sienna, 37. Um, C Young, 27. Sienna, 37. Lee Edwards, 24. Ali, 34. Tessa Blanchard, 24. Kaylee Ray, 34. B. Percy, 22. Sway and Knight, 40. Xenia Brookside, 26. And Viper, 36. Viper in performance, Alicia Edwards in Rumble and Tessa Blanchard in performance. This sim has impact the uh, storyline defense for this and knockout storyline defense for this. Awesome. In a decent match, the Briscoes defeat Kilo Lee squad in 5 minutes 43 when Jay Briscoe defeated Lance Hoyt by Pumpful. 61C, Jay and Mark Briscoe have excellent chemistry teaming together. Mark 61, Jay 69. Um, Lance 46, Davey Boy 53. And Lance Hoyt improving in flying. 61C, not bad. So Truths in the back end gets a 30 plus, so I think that's just because I raid on um, Truths, but we'll see. Um, and he goes, I have arrived with my book of truth. I have wrestlers from all over Impact and the X Division have joined for my house of truth. Jay Lethal laid down the groundwork last week. And with these guys, and these guys, and with this, these guys will be champions. You see, we have the power couple in Bree and Will. We have two monsters, and we have an asshole, and we have the greatest first-generation superstar. And we are the House of Truth, and we're going to take impact over. So yeah, Truth Martini has debuted, and he's debuted his House of Truth, which represents Bree Priestley, Abyss, Congo Kong, Will Ospreay, Jay Leaf, and Mr. Anderson, all a part of the House of Truth. In a poor match, Jimmy Havoc and Bram defeated Ricky Shane Page and Matt Tremont in Extreme Rules match, and 736 from Jimmy Havoc defeated Ricky Shane Page. By Pinfall, the Death Valley driver. Bram seemed off his game. These two don't work well as a team, which is upsetting. And that's quality to live the match. Matt Tream on 30, with Shane Page 25, Bram 40, Jimmy Havoc 39. No work improvements. 37 D minus. So we see cameras running into the parking lot. There we see OVE and the Rising. Brawl, I think it's the Rising, whatever that stable are called. Brawling all over the parking lot. We see weapons being used. There's blood everywhere. Everywhere, and then Eddie screams at Slammiversary this Friday. Free versus free hardcore walls match. So yes, Slammiversary is hotting up to be a freaking huge card. And when we get through, when we get to the main event, I will go through the card with you guys, just so you guys can have a bit of fun with this. You know what? It's going to be a six-man tag. The fans bring the weapons match. <laughs> a bit of fun with this one. Um, but yeah, I think crime. I think crime time has been a great. Um, higher for me because I've really been a I wasn't really sure what I'm gonna do with them and then I've worked out with it. this could really work for us so that's what we're gonna do. 3v3 fans been the weapons match. But there's gonna be a bit more fun with that. But in about that good heat and decent wrestling Bully Ray defeated Drew Galloway making his return um in six seventeen by pin with the bully cutter. Um Drew Galloway Davies Rockstar go it's got his rid of awful Bully Ray fifty six Drew Galloway fifty three Drew Galloway in performance so yeah, WWE released him again. Um, they've also released someone else you'll see later on, so I quickly hired him. Well, I'm going to refuse that. Um, in the ring, Cody Rhodes and Johnny Impact have a contract signing for the up-and-coming match with Bobby Cruz, so as the host of the contract segment. Rhodes signs the contract first, before it over to the Impact, and then drops the name down the profession. Everything's done again after that, and Rhodes get an Impact game to a massive brawl. Just a standard, you know, sign the contract. Hey, we're going to beat the living crap out of each other. In a decent match, the House of Truth, Biss, Jay Lee from Kong Kong defeated OVE. So we can on Dave Chris and Jake Chris, hence why we had to do that weird tag team match and that, bring that guy in. In 8 of 6, when Jay Lee defeated Dave Chris by pin for the Lethal combination, Jay Lee getting better his match. Kong Kong's really off his game. Kong Kong 30. Lethal 68. Abyss 64. Jake Chris 35. Um, Dave Chris 37. And Sammy Callum 53. So not a bad show. No work improvements, but a 52D+. Plus. We then see, and above had DCS, Madame Chi, Grado, and Ashtag CCK defeated The Rising. Eddie Edwards, Shad Grass, and Jason Paul in 733 when Kid Likers defeated Shad by a pin of the size bread. Following the defense from Dave Chris. During the match, we also had Sammy Callan running and attack Eddie and Jake Chris. Also attack Jason. So when I did good work at ringside, Eddie Edwards is, came out of the match looking good. Grado, 38. Chris Brooks 41, Kid Likers 35, Jason 41, Shad 35, Eddie Edwards 65, the Blood Battle is advanced with us and gained heat. Kid Likers in performance, nice. Um, Jargo and Pentagon Jr. backstage, same as last week, it was meant to be just a random backstage brawl, not that. Don't know why it was that, but yeah, 
backstage ball between them. In a decent match, mostly Machine Guns defeat LAX in 8-12 when I show you to defeat Sonata by Pinfall as Chirana. Conan did good work on ringside. Santana 42, Ortiz 46, Chris Saban 64, Alex Shelley 55. Ortiz improving flying. Now, I'm going to be announcing some more matches for Slammiversary because it's going to be a four hour spectacular and I want to make some fun with this. As you know, hashtag CCK have been on fire since coming to the company. Well, they're going to have their work car when they take on Motor City Machine Guns one on one live on pay per view. Since the tag team division has been getting a lot better these past few weeks, the Killer Elite Squad have been on fire and they've been doing a lot of good work. As we know, they got the tag team shot, but LAX will be taking on the Briscoes. The winner of that match will be taking on the winner. Um, that is a number one contenders tag team match. So the winner of this match, I'm is either going to be this one or the other, that one. The winner will take on the winner of that one. Okay, so I will write that in LAX. Um, we'll get a shot. There we go. And the tag belts the night after. That's a 53C minus, so not bad. Um, Ortiz improving flying, which is nice. And I think it's him, Santana, or is it? No, it's Ortiz. One of these two is now the CZW. Heavyweight would have eight champions, so yeah, put that in your mind. Um, Bobby Roode showing arriving backstage, much to the surprise of the announcer, so he was released from WWE, and he debuts Ego Maniac gimmick, which has got great. Um, Stu Bennett, Jimmy Havoc, and um, Bram and Winter. I don't know why Winter's there. I had to go and make the announcement they're going to be allies for now and I'm watching each other back. Um, Winter is not the person who's meant to be there; it's meant to be Zack Sabre Jr. And they're going to be known as the new version of British Invasion and face them to what they've done a lot with um, LAX. In a decent match, Moose and Matt Riddle defeated Zack Sabre Jr. And the big guy in 5.9 and Moose defeated Zack Sabre Jr. by another game breaker. Big guy 59, Zack Sabre 65, Matt Riddle 57, Moose 52. Both of the storylines, Moose Supreme Performance Line. Big Man Wrestling and the Submission Special storyline advanced with this segment and gained heat. In a bout of a good heat in decent wrestling, Bobby Roode defeated Mr. Anderson. In 8-12 by Pinnacle Payoff, Bobby Reed 64, Mr. Anderson 50, Tooth Martini did good work at ringside, no work, impro work improvements, but 58C minus. And the video plays hyping up Pentagon Jr., Magnus, Eli Drake and Johnny Impact turn on Cody Rhodes, Stu Bennett and Drago in our main event of the evening. And a, a 50, a D51. In a decent match, Johnny Impact, Eli Drake, Magnus and Pentagon Jr., Defeated Drago, Stu Bennett, Austin Aires, and Cody Rhodes. Elimination match in 15-26. Drago was eliminated first, then Pentagon, then Eli, then Magnus, and Stu, then Austin, and then finally Cody. Um, obviously, these two probably brought the rating down a bit. Cody, 68. Austin Aries, 59. Stu Bennett, 67. Drago, 35. Pentagon, 55. Magnus, 47. Eli Drake, 53. Johnny Impact, 71. Um, Cody and Rumble, and Pentagon in performance. We end tonight's show. With that match, that is where the show closes off. And 53C, ladies and gentlemen, some anniversary is huge. You've got Kenny Omega, you've got uh, Mustache Man in taking on God, you've got the fans bring the weapons match between the Rising and OVE, you've got tag team title match between Killer Elite Squad and the Unbox, you've got the Women's Viper versus Sue Young, you've got Johnny Impact versus Cody Rhodes, Pentagon Jr. versus Phoenix. You've got Eli Drake versus Austin Aries. You've got um, Moose versus the big guy. You've also got Zach Sam Jr. in a submission match. My friends, I'll see you on Friday for what is going to be a huge, huge, huge version of Slammiversary. We'll see you live at Slammiversary. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome back. I might have to quickly stop the call and to answer the door because we're meant to get a delivery between two and four, but... With my father and mother, and I'll get back where I do. But in front of 5,149 people tonight at the Alfred A. McKenzie Arena. In a pre show, Bav had subpar wrestling a little heat. Falabar defeated KM in 8.17 by Pinfall with the Avalanche Bash. Falabar was rough game. KM and Sienna, and I was meant to change that. Falabar 25, KM 44. No work improvements. 
In a future battle, I've had Supar Racing and Little Heat, um, Winter and Xenia Brookside defeat Sienna and Soraya Knight. In A20, 891, Xenia Brookside defeat Sienna by pin for the Iconic Slam. Xenia was a weak link. Uh, Soraya Knight gave her a gimmick, nice quality, color commentary going much. Bruce Soraya 42, Sienna 34, Xenia 22, Winter 38. Winter improving Rumble, 37D minus. In a poor pre-show match, Greg Excellence and, and Tony Storm defeated Tara and Tyrus in 805 and Greg Excellence defeated Tyra by pin for the Tiger Driver 98. A 41D, um, Tyra seemed off a game, Tony Storm killed by Greg. Tyrus 48, Tara 35, Tony Storm 37, Greg Excellence 37. No work improvements. In a pre-show battle, I decent rest with the heat, Jimmy Jacobs and Zima Ion defeated Hangman Page and Trevor Lee in 734 and Zima Ion defeated Hangman Page by pin for the Bible Black. Hangman Page and Trevor Lee don't work as a team. Um, Zima Iron 46, Jimmy Jacobs 46, Trevor Lee 41, Hangman Page 32, 43D. Not bad. In a terrible pre show match, Tessa Blanchard defeated Alicia Edwards in 811 by Pins of Power Driver. Tessa Blanchard off game. That's quality in the Color Comedy match boost. Alicia 28, Tessa 23. Tessa Blanchard improving in performance. Nice. 26E. And in a piece of power, I've had racing a little heat. Ricky Shane Page and Vikas Kumar defeated Matreon and Pete Williams in 758 when Ricky Shane Page defeated Matreon by Pins of Power Bomb. Pete Williams not suited to his gimmick. Ricky Shane Page getting better his gimmick. And that's quality in the clock on the right boost. PD 50, Matt 29, Vikas Kumar 28, Ricky Shane Page 28. Matt Tremont in performance and Vikas Kumar Rumble. Pete Williams is not suited to his gimmick, so I forgot to do those two. Do that later. And now we get on with our opening angle of the night. Tonight we celebrate the past, the present, and the future. Tonight battle will rage at Summerversary. Tonight the two major luchadors rage war in the middle of the ring as Drago meets Pentagon Junior. It's going to be mental. It's going to be a mental affair. The two biggest men on the Impact roster collide as the big guy takes on Moose, who will walk out away. Who will walk away on top tonight. Then Austin Aries takes on a man who feels he's got nothing but a, he's nothing but a hype machine and Eli Drake. Is Eli going to prove his point tonight? The Impact World Championship, a golden championship held by some of the greatest Impact stars. But tonight Cody meets the man with Impact in his name. Johnny Impact, tonight will make history again and it's going to be huge. And now New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling bring to you live Slammiversary 2018. And then the fireworks go off on this beautiful stage because we spent a bit of money on it. Um, quite a bit. I think, I think we're doing two of two hundred and fifty thousand. So, welcome to Summer anniversary. This place is coming unplugged for tonight and earlier today. We found out Caristico is taking on Rey Mysterio Jr. tonight. And now, as over the past few weeks, Impact's been making waves, and tonight it's going to be no different. Let's send it to the ring. No work improvements, but the storylines all fancy and get loose heat. I'm opening up with a our first match tonight in a battle of decent match with a little heat. Mustache Mountain defeated the Grillers of Destiny when Trent Seven defeated Tamatonga by Pins of Summer Stars Lariat. Mustache Mountain are you IWGP Global Tag Team Champions? Tamatonga 47, Tamatonga Rua 47, Tamatonga 32, Tyler Bate 50, Trent Seven 35. No work in prison, 43 D. We have an X Division former eight man tag match and above a decent match of a demo cheat. Tom Falcon, Ethan Page, Brian Cage, and ACH defeat Angelico, Desmond Xavier, Dragon Kid, and Space Monkey in 8.15 when Tom Falcon defeated Dragon Kid by pinfall. ACH was really off his game, ACH 43, Brian Cage 41, Ethan Page 39, Tom Falcon now getting a 34, Space Monkey a 46, Dragon Kid 53, Desmond Xavier 45, and Angelico 46, Angelico improving the technical. Nice. In a poor match, the rising, the shy dressed by Jason Paul and Eddie Edwards defeated OVE. Um, of course, you know who they are. In Fans Bring the Weapons match in 807, Eddie Edwards defeated Greg Chris by, by pinning the forward long thrower onto a uh, iron board. Eddie Edwards 52, Jason Paul 34, Shad Jasp 34, Jake Chris 26, Dave Chris 33, Sammy 51, Jake Chris and Technical and Performance. Not bad. I know a few people there. Yeah, I can perform better if you don't use me in hardcore matches. Blah, 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 blah. And above had superb wrestling and great heat. Rey Mysterio defeated Christico in 11.43 by pinfall with a 6 foot 9 into a waist, West Coast pop, a 66C plus. Matches are better now. And Christico 73, Rey Mysterio 73. No work improvements. In a decent match, LAX defeated the Briscoes in 9.09. 
when Ortiz defeated Mark Briscoe by pinfall. Santana is getting his gimmick chain. Mark Briscoe's chain comes team together. Santana 42, Ortiz 40, Mark Briscoe 60, Jay Briscoe 67, which is a 55C minus. No work improvements. And I'm going to be back in just a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. We are back. Um, Jerry's parents came back, so we are back. In a decent match, Stu Bennett defeated Bram Magnus and Bully Ray. An elimination match in 11.08. The order elimination was Bram first, then Bully Ray and Barney Magnus. Stu Bennett carried the match, which is what I thought he would have, and that's why he got the win. Uh, Bully Ray, 54. Bram, 46. Magnus, 53. Stu, 66. Uh, no work improvements, but a 55C, 56C minus, sorry. Nice little match. 27E, I knew this match would do bad in the tail match. Viper defeated Sue Young in 10 29. Here yeah, we're back over the Rishi Good Driver. Viper makes defense number two of a knockout, Simpat knockouts title. Sue Young 28 and Viper 28. <laughs> Very even Viper in technical and performance. Nice quality in the color country and the match boost. The impact's not the storyline advanced for the segment and gained a bit of heat. Um, in a belt that to par wrestling and a little heat. This is meant to go before, but KC Smilo, which I still haven't sorted their gimmick out. <laughs> Must remember to do that. Oh no, I have, haven't I? Tell a lie. Yes, I did. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. She's now a bitch, isn't she? Yeah, she's got a bitch gimmick. Um, Brie Percy and Ali defeat Kaylee Ray Dominator, and Rosemary in 747 and Ali defeat Dominator by Pink of the South Face Buster. Rosemary is head and shoulders everyone else. Ellie 31, Brie 20, KC Smilo 25, Rosemary 48. Dominator 30 and Kaylee Ray 36. Ali and Dominate in performance and Dominator in Rumble. Nice. Um, 37 D minus. It's a women's match. Um, 52 D in a bad, good heat and decent wrestling. Mid Sanderson defeat MVP in 8265. Mike check after choosing Martini. He did some distracting. Mr. Anderson 52. MVP 55. No work improvements. So this is a six hour show. We've got a three hour main card because it goes up to 300 minutes and we've got an hour pre show. So. You know, we're running through seven hours, five, six hours of wrestling today <laughs> for this show. And about that, decent wrestling on which he suicide defeated Ray Phoenix in 8.10 by pinning the inverted overdriver. It's suicide 44, Ray Phoenix 52. No work in but a nice little match. 48D plus, nice extra in your match. In the about that, decent wrestling but on which he hashtag CCK defeated most city machine guns in 7.53 when Kid Likers defeated Alex Shelley by pinfall with a slice of bread. Chris Brooks 34, Kid Likers 37. Chris Saban 64, Alex Shelley 58. 53C minus, not bad. In a bout that had decent wrestling. Let me just check something. Uh, oh, good, we'll work for a bit. So in a bout that had in a in a bout that in a bout that had decent wrestling with Omichi, Drago defeated Pentagon Jr. in 1227 by Pinfoy using the roots of leverage. Drago 28, Pentagon 59. The battle of the Luchas advanced and gained heat. In a decent match, Michael Algon defeated Homicide in 8-10 by Pinfall, the Death Valley driver. Homicide 58, Algon 50. No work on improvements, a 55C minus. In a decent match, Will Ospreay defeated Matt Side Algon 1509 by Pinfall. After using a foreign object, Will Ospreay wins the Impact X Division title. Ospreay 59, Side Al 53. I forgot to give him back. That's how I was proving. I think I forgot to put. Um, so I kept him off until the main card last week. I forgot to re add Truth Martini. But yeah, so my Truth Martini passes in the foreign object and he hits Matt Sido with it to win. And in a good match, James Storm returns, defeating Bobby Roode in the Falls Count Anyway match in 13 minutes 03 by from the 8 second ride. Bobby Roode's getting better his gimmick, James Storm David is redneck, gimmick's got a shrine of Warpool, James Storm still his game, he's getting better his gimmick. The match is a better announcing, Bobby Roode 70, Storm 56. James Storm improving the performance of 60C. Not, I can perform better if you don't put me in hardcore matches. And this is a good match as well. In a good, in about that good wrestling and decent match, crowd, Matt Riddle defeats Zack Sabre Jr. in the submission match. And 11.42 by submission with the guillotine choke. Matt Riddle 57, Zack Sabre Jr. 64. No work on proofs, 60C. In a decent match, the Killer Elite Squad defeated Young Bucks in 15.02 when Dave Boy Smith Jr. defeated Matt Jackson by pin for the Killer Bomb. Um, KES, Killer Elite Squad, win the Impact World titles. Matt Dushan, Groucho, have a great Good came, had great chemistry in two together. Lance White 45, Dave Boy 53, Nick Jackson 62, Matt 56 to 5, 58C-, Nick Jackson improved the Rumble. Nice little thing. Um, in the battle very good heat, good heat and decent wrestling, a big guy defeated Moose um, in 951 by Pinfall German by Pinfall Suplex Power Slam. 
Moose Boy 3, Big Guy 54, No Worker is 49D plus. Um, in a good battle for good, good, good heat and decent wrestling, now Drake defeated Austin Aries in 10.39 by the bottom rung. Austin Aries 58, Eli Drake 53, No Worker is 55C minus. In a decent match, the British Invasion, Jimmy Havoc, Grado and Drew Galloway, two new members of the, you know, um, British Invasion, defeat the House of Truth. Abyss, Congo Kong and Jay Leaf on the 7th of tomorrow when Drew Galloway defeat Jay Leaf by the Fruit Shock. At 56, he minus. Went to the good work at ringside. Congo Kong seen off his game. Drew Galloway, 56. Grado, 35. Jimmy Havoc, 45. Jay Leaf, 69. Congo Kong, 35. And Abyss, a six out there of 62. No work on previous, but a nice little match for 6 minus. At 60C, as we hype up Chris Joker versus Kenny Omega, gets a 70C plus in an exceptional match. Chris Joker defeated Kenny Omega in 22.05 by Pinnacle Code Breaker. Chris Joker wins the IWGP grit title. Chris Joker 84, Omega 72. No work improvements, but a beautiful match at Nice Desk. Josh Matthews was pretty weak. And then we get a 56C minus and a 62C. I know that this match I'm doing is good, but we go with it. In a superb match, Cody Rhodes defeated Johnny Impact in 24 minutes 43 by pin of the crossroads. He makes defense number one of his Impact World title. Johnny Impact 75, Cody Rhodes 65. The Impact will still line his advance to say when it gains heat. No work on premise on Johnny Impact at the path and Johnny Impact and Bruden Technical. 62C and then a 56C minus when the match is over, Johnny Impact's left down. Cody Rhodes celebrating, but then stops his opponents on the ground and he attacks him and beats him into the canvas. And that's where we end tonight's show. So, New Japan wrestlers. So, Chris Joker is your IWGP Global Champion. The Global Tag Team Champions, which I don't think I've named right, are, of course, uh, the Mustache Mountain. Um, but uh, seven hours of wrestling, 5,149 people came out to see the show. Chris Joker and Kenny Omega and Johnny Impact are all going to get the... Um, and hopefully this might have pushed us over the edge. I'm not sure if it did, um, but we'll see. I'm going to go to Kenny Omega. I'm hoping once I get to call, I can sign Kenny and Chris on permanent contracts with the company because they won't sign at the moment. So we need to get to call, and then we might be able to get them on written deals, which would be good. Everyone will be on written deals and start doing house shows. Chris Joko, John Impact, and Kenny Omega team, please. I thank you for watching the first episode of Impact Wrestling, The, the Golden Age, or whatever, you want, whatever I'm going to call this series. And I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again, probably with Fallen Star. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon.